Hey everyone, just a reminder that this is your second Double Anime Sense content of the month, brought to you by yours truly. Ensure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on so you don't miss out on weekly videos coming your way for one whole month. Check out Patreon in the description below if you want to make this a constant thing. And now for the video proper! Close your eyes, Julia! What was this soldier hoping to achieve by slightly holding him back? Don't you tell her to close her eyes, it's it's up to her if she wants to see it. Or did he think he would go nuts and attempt to open the doors? Either way, it's not very likely. Uh, I don't remember this page. What's that? It's scary. Yeah, alright, relax. It's a slightly smudged pair of pictures. It's hardly scary, you wuss bag. Which is a bag of wusses. What's wrong? It's getting late, you should go on to bed. <laughs> What's happening? Get out of here! He can see it from where he is, but randomly, slightly further back, she can't see diddly gosh darn squat. Look out, Ed! He's an alchemist! Really, Al? What the hell gave it away, you complete genius? Four and a half years into a five-year bid? Yes. It doesn't make sense. He was up for parole in another two months. A couple more months and he would have been free anyway. No, he would have been up for parole in two months, like he just said. That doesn't mean he'd get parole and get out. It means that there's a chance for parole and getting out early. It's a town on the western edge of Amestris, along the border with Krata. What's the sense in putting down the first map, showing all of the countries, when you're about to put down the second map that has a much more close-up and in-depth view of the place you're actually wanting to go to in the first place? That's awesome! CGI! <laughs> yeah, Ed, the leg thing only works if you catch them with it right as they're passing. Now the first one, absolutely, may well have worked. But the woman, all you did was awkwardly hold your leg out in front of her. It was weird, not gonna lie. How kind of you to come and greet me! Okay, that was pretty sick, and since there's no wind version, take us it off! Hey, where are all the illegal immigrants being held? Come on, man, tell me! When you ask a question and immediately get annoyed that you haven't received an answer during the natural space in your own initial sentence. Julia! Miranda! <laughs> What's this? Is she with them? No, she just, you know, left with them. But ironically, so it doesn't count. Now that you're back, does that mean that you'll be giving us lessons again? Wait just a little longer. We'll start again real soon. Oh, my God! We've received an urgent report, sir. An express train headed from Central wrecked at Table City Station. That idiot. Has Edward done something stupid again? That's a weird assumption. A correct one, but a weird one all the same. Colonel, urgent news. We've received a request from Kratos. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. You should know better. This is no place for civilians to wander about. I wouldn't exactly consider myself one of his friends. And anyway, he seemed fine the last time I saw him. Arrogant fool. Let me guess. Something's happened to them. Winry decided to stick around his office after he initially made it pretty clear that she wasn't welcome and after she had no idea that Ed and Al were even away on a mission and were instead simply not in that particular room with Mustang. You have a lot of patience for a small operation like this. More cave-ins means more patience than I'd like. Cave-ins? No! <laughs> what was that? Someone was climbing up the cliff. The Amestrians shot him. If you climb up even a little ways, they consider it crossing the border illegally. They don't stop to ask questions. Why would he be silly enough to do it then? Get back here! You just don't give up, do you? Pedro was a good man, and you murdered him! Well, in reality, you'd spoken to him twice, so you weren't exactly the authority on the good guidance of the dude. <laughs> Wait up! You guys are leaving me behind! You can't really blame him. Automail doesn't make for easy swimming. Whereas a giant suit of armor, on the other hand... Our ancestors founded a nation. Setting apart this hill as a holy land in order to honor Poros, the mountain of God. At the time, a legend arose that said a stone of immortality was buried somewhere around the hill. The stone has another name. Down here, our people call it the Sanguine Star. When the Cratons learned of the legend, 
they launched an all-out invasion. They overran our tiny nation and spent the next 300 years relentlessly scouring the area. If this sanguine star is the same thing known in Amestris as the Philosopher's Stone, then the ingredients for it... The ingredients for it are human lives. Jesus, all right, Ed, how about you give him half a second to finish his sentence? If the sanguine stars really do require human blood, they can have ours. I am more than happy to give my life to secure our nation's future. What are you saying? You mean you'd offer up the lives of everyone here? No. I mean, he implied it for the others, but did specifically only say it for himself. Uh. Are you willing to sacrifice other people's lives in order to make your dreams come true? Is that your idea of happiness? Not sure why Ed is putting it all on her. She's not their leader, and she's not the one saying she's willing to offer up people's souls to create a stone. That's the other dude. Kind of sounds odd how he's going, I'd be willing to give my life to recreate my beloved country. Is this what you want? You're gonna literally murder him and get blood on your hands and kill him yourself for your greed? Hey, back off, little dude! So you think there's some reason he needed to hide for five years? That makes sense. A lot of things can happen in five years. I mean, five years ago, Ed, Al, and I were still just children leading our simple, quiet lives in Risen. <laughs> literally? <laughs> Literally nothing she says here is important in relation to their conversation. In fact, if anything, out of push, I'd wager she completely offset a genuinely interesting and potentially important train of thought those two were having. It can be cruel. Even so, dwelling on the past is a waste of time. The present moment belongs to the one who's brave enough to seize it. Roy, that just sounds really overly complicated and philosophical compared to the fact that everyone is just living their lives. You know, that was kind of weird, dude. I, on the other hand, know what Crater was after. Here it is. This dude loved showmanship so much he deliberately paused opening his shirt for the grand reveal until he'd finished his sentence. <laughs> Exhale and an in there, cliche. <gasps> As my father lay dying, he stripped off his skin and gave it to me. The path that leads to the Sanguine Star. Hold up a minute, that's fine, but how'd you manage to take his skin and put it on yourself without leaving any scar tissue and stuff? Can you just do that? That's weird. Interesting, they came back here instead of returning to Central. That means they must have discovered something in the valley. Wouldn't they have to go back there first in order to even catch a train back to Central? Or did this guy think they'd make their way into an enemy country and randomly somehow find a way back there to Central? Yeah, but too bad for you. If you'd been the ones to solve the city's secret, you would have lived to see them all. But that's not gonna happen. That really is too bad for us, huh? Why not do that at the start, though, rather than pretending that that was the plan all along in a rather smug fashion? They are just used as speaking tubes now. But long ago they had another use. A much different one. They were used for something else? Yeah, that's what the guy just said. You're not listening, but this stuff is important! <laughs> that's not how blood works, though. They managed to get this much blood from two people! What did you do to my brother?! I stripped his skin and transplanted the branded map onto myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what, that's fair enough then, I guess. Keep fighting for me, Los. Another game for me, Los! <laughs> With this power, there will be no one to stop I me! you be so sure! Why give yourself away, though? In the armory! Let's go! Secure the explosives! Milos! Men! Uh, I can't do much. The gear is broken. <laughs> Don't you have a replacement? I was only planning on making some adjustments. You came all the way to the border with another country for adjustments? Hold on. It's a long way down. <laughs> She's merely holding on to him, and yet he feels the need to do a few spins on the way down. Using its power, I was able to survive. You were supposed to protect us, Atlas. Instead, you murdered my parents. Damn you! Okay, that's actually a pretty damn good last minute twist, so they can take a final sin off for that. I proclaim the establishment of the Free Nation of Milos! What the hell is the point in having completely see-through curtains or drapes for you Americans out there in a hospital or anywhere for that matter?
To be clear though, no one felt the need to arrest this guy then. Also, not to mention that it seems unwise to leave them both in the same hospital room alone after during their last interaction that he'd remember, he was actively attempting to murder her. Vatanen, there are so many things we need to do. This is only the beginning. The real work starts now. Yeah. Seems unusually cruel to leave her a pair of slippers when you know full well the girl's got one bloody leg. Julia! You shouldn't be up and walking around on that leg so soon, you know. She's literally not walking on it. Oh, no, it isn't that. Huh? What I mean is... Okay, so this movie wasn't as good as I'd hoped it would be. I give it a solid 6 out of 10 on my anime list. The animation was pretty good throughout, and the fighting scenes were mostly excellent, although I struggled with it being so different to the anime in my eyes. The music was alright, there was a nice track near the end, and it felt genuinely great to hear everyone's voices again, since, as I'm sure you know, I'm a massive fan of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's dub. So yeah, overall, it was alright. Thanks for voting in, patrons, and thanks so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Tyler Warner, PK Fan, Ali50, Ryan Anderson, Isael Caldera, Chris Harris, Yona Shal, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Kim Munt, Jason Davies, The Element Taylor Wars, Manuel Morales, Carnito, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Blitz Cloud, Aura Keeper, Steelers, Amir Keenan, Sentimento, Jeffer6263, Master Tank, Kevin Nelter, Brendan Creo, Storm970, Gaten Garza, Matt the Marshmallow, Karj Vorzelman, Jordan Samuels, Sean Graves, The Epic Amanda, Crimson Shadows, Kyle Farmer, Oliver Gable, Kimi O, Adora Blue, Matthew Bitsworth, 